What's up everybody, don't we all just love Llama 3? I love Llama 3, I know you love Llama 3 if you're watching this video. So in this video we'll talk about how we can use Llama 3 as our code assistant within VS Code. Let's dig into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series. And in this video, we'll talk about how you can integrate Llama 3 within VS Code by using CodeGPT as your tool. So CodeGPT itself is a copilot generator platform, which sort of comprises of a lot of AI assistants and copilots, which are built in by CodeGPT itself, but it's also like a marketplace uh, or a community uh, showcase center where you can build stuff and showcase your work and let people use it. So this is what it looks like. Uh, you can build your own agents and you can choose your favorite uh, LLM to do that. So it's kind of a great tool for get you up and running real quick if you really need to build a specific agent and sort of reuse it across your organization or across your application that you're building. Moreover, it also has this great marketplace from where you can sort of uh, choose different sort of uh, AI assistants. So I have two here. Uh, one is for GPT-4 and one is for Python 3.10 and it's built on Cloud3 Sonnet. So this is the overall experience that you'll get. So here I can choose my assistant. So currently I'm on Python 3.10. And uh, it says like it's a comprehensive source for Python programming. So if I go ahead and select something like that, so, so I mean, this is what it looks like. Uh, you can uh, sort of uh, play around with the cosmetics and aesthetics of your agent, and you can sort of share this particular agent with uh, your customers, your clients, and you know, if you're, uh, or within your team, if you're sort of building stuff together. So let's go ahead and integrate uh, CodeGPT within VS Code. So here I'm gonna go to extensions and I'm gonna search CodeGPT, CodeGPT. And let's scroll down to sort of find it. And there we have it. So it has about like 1.1 million downloads. So it's kind of popular. So I'm just gonna hit install. Good. All right, so CodeGPT extension is installed. Uh, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go into extension settings. And uh, we have CodeGPT API key. Select an API provider and enter your key. So within here, you should have uh, Olama installed locally and make sure it's running while you actually select Olama as your provider. You can find other providers here as well. And for example, you have OpenAI, which is default. Uh, I think this runs on OpenAI 3.5 Turbo by default. But you can also select Vertex, Google AI Studio, Cohere. And so you've got quite a lot of options here. Uh, so make sure you have enabled CodeGPT Copilot and you have uh, CodeGPT Autocomplete Provider to be selected over here. And here we are going to select Olama Llama 3 instruct. So make sure you have this installed. Uh, all you have to do, you have to type in Olama pull Llama 3 instruct. And that's it. So let's go ahead into our directory. Uh, let's open a particular folder. Do -do 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 -do. Open AI embeddings. All right, let's create a new file here. Uh, index.py And I'm gonna select CodeGPT chat. It's loading. And here you can see we have uh, the assistants that we viewed earlier. We have code assistant, we have Python 3.10 agent, which we actually checked out at the start of the video. We have JavaScript agent and we can select a few more. Here we have Olama as our provider and we can select 
uh, we have a couple of options here. So we have uh, the bigger model, which 70 billion parameter, 8 billion parameter. So let's, let's select this one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we have Llama 3 working within our code GPT chat and we can ask stuff. Let's say, all right, so, so here we have, uh, we can use insert code snippets just like this. So this is kind of convenience. So, uh, I also showcase this as a feature within uh, one of the tools that we reviewed earlier by the name of IDX by Google. So it had like a same built-in assistant just like this, just like we have code GPT chat here. So it would have this and it would have the feature where you can just uh, ask the assistant anything and you could just insert the code. So that's nice. So I'm going to ask it a few more things. Let's say generate an API to fetch images from Unsplash. So that was quick. And what we can do is we can just do, 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 do. right. It's still perfect. So that's pretty much it. And that's our function with just fetches stuff from Unsplash, which happens to be a uh, image repository platform where you can just query the images and you'll get the relevant images by its subject. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I hope this was useful and I hope you can use CodeGPT chat and uh, sort of boost your productivity while writing code and you can also use and leverage the best model out there, which happens to be Llama 3. And uh, yeah, this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.